Hey everybody, welcome to another unboxing. This time around we have a Topps Finest WWE 2021. Um, I'm not sure what Topps Finest is because I feel like I've probably opened up three different types of Topps um, WWE cards. There was like uh, just sort of like regular WWE cards. There was, obviously I did a women's division series, which was fun. Um, and then there was like the the heritage kind of vintage looking cards, and so this is Top's finest. I want to say this is probably the last set of Top's WB cards because I think Panini is that how you say it uh, got the rights because there is a 2022 series from Panini out in stores now that my buddy told me about, so I'm gonna have to look out for that. But uh, this is a blaster box. I actually bought two of these, so this will be box one. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there is a guaranteed hit in here. So who knows if I'll get another signed Carmella card. Fingers crossed. Um, but let's uh, dive in. All right, everybody, again, we're gonna dip into the usual uh, sell sheets. So we've got the base cards with your numerous stupid parallels, of course. And these are some fun insert sets, actually. The, the Dead Man tribute's cool. Um, again, more inserts, and then, of course, the autographs. And, of course, there's that elusive triple autograph card. So we'll see what I get. So is this your standard 11 packs? I wouldn't be surprised if there's less. Um, seven car, seven packs. See, that's what happens these days is companies will, um, reduce the amount of stuff you get. So there's only seven in here. Usually I get more than that. And let's see, there's four cards. So not only are there less packs, but you only get four cards. So are these like chromed cards. I mean, it says Top's Finest. This is pack one, of course. Um, let's see what the odds are. I'm sure you've got your standard absurd number of parallels. Let's take a look. All right, so yeah, these are premium card so kind of saw me there but this is uh, of course Kyle O'Reilly who is no longer in WWE and now is in AEW so now we know why the prices these are sort of uh like I said chromed out yeah they have a, a definitely a plasticky premium feel here we got Baron Corbin is this sad Corbin Not sure, he must know where this, the bodies are buried because he gets pushed for some crazy reason. Next up, we got good old Shinsuke Nakamura, one of my favorite characters. And this looks like it's probably a parallel because it has that sort of holographic rainbow foil that we know and love from my goddess story cards. And Ember Moon, so two out of two in this pack are no longer in WWE anymore. All right, moving along, pack number two. So yeah, this was the $20 price range. Unfortunately, like we noticed, you don't get as many cards and you don't go get as many packs in here, unfortunately. Here we got Chad Gable in a sort of really weird looking Looks very strange. Shorty G, make sure you shush. Here we got Big E. Good to see him. Unfortunately, he's uh, out of action. He broke his neck. So, brutal. And we got Shelton Benjamin. Is this a parallel? Not sure. These are nice cards. Like I said, they have a premium feel to them. And they seem a little, yeah, they have like a layer. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a, obviously a layer of this, this foil. And Commander Aziz, no real opinion on him. All right, pack three. 
If this truly is the last set of Topps WWE cards, they definitely went out on a bang with these uh, cool shiny cards. Here's Mustafa Ali. He was uh, disappeared for a while because he wanted his release and now he's back. So they must have uh, came to an agreement. Here's Elias or is it Ezekiel? <laughs> he's been gone for a while and he shaved off that awful scraggly beard. He looks different now so it's interesting what they're doing there Ooh, here we go here we go and i got a a scott hall uncrowned greatness uh insert series rest in peace scott hall he just passed away very recently this must be this must feature characters that never got the belt yeah, he never got the, uh, must be people who never got the WWE Championship. Definitely a solid worker. And the other guitarist of WWE, and fortunately he's also out of action. Um, he's a super strong guy, and unfortunately at WrestleMania, he is, uh, his like patella tour, I think. So it's like the first match of WrestleMania. Felt really bad for the dude. All right, pack four. Awesome, Becky Lynch. Uh, I like Becky Lynch. Uh, I've talked about her before. I didn't really like her, the man character. Um, but she's a pretty solid alternative heel to Charlotte. Ooh, nice. Here's Kofi Kingston in a like wacky parallel, looks like. It kind of reminds me of uh, my AEW cards that had crazy parallels, so that's fun. See, these are the type of parallels I appreciate, like crazy sort of 80s style uh, looks to them. Here's Cameron Grimes from NXT, I believe. Didn't really follow NXT, so I'm not really sure. It looks like I got another rainbow hollow foil parallel. Yeah, these are fun cards. If you do if you do watch my Waifu Wednesday series, you'll know that I love cards with this type of foil and just the shininess. So awesome that this set has that. And a Jackson Riker. Not really sure. On to pack five. Kind of unfortunate that I don't get a hit. Oh, here we go. I got a normal version of this Kofi Kingston. You'll notice I got the, uh, so that's the parallel version. So that's pretty cool. Here we got Mace. Is this uh, one of the Retribution characters? And this, is this like a Thunderdome parallel? I don't know if you noticed, but some don't have like a backdrop and this has like the Thunderdome in the back. Is that another parallel? And Seamus. I could take or leave Seamus. And a Charlotte Flair with Becky Lynch, of course. I don't mind her. She's just, I don't know. I think they pushed her too much. All right, 10 ultimate pack. Number six. Here we go, Bailey. Hoping she comes back soon. And Kevin Owens, who had a really good match with Stone Cold. I was very surprised since Stone Cold's my favorite WWE wrestler of all time. Here we've got Tyler Beat, which looks like I got some sort of, oh, Two out of five. Okay, so I got some sort of red parallel. Two out of five, let's take a look. Yeah, is this, yeah, red. A red parallel, this is one out of a thousand packs. Sure, I don't know who Tyler Bate is. It must be a, from the British NXT, but that's cool to get a really rare card. I, 
would have rather had a sign card or something, but hey, that's a rare card, two out of five. And Xavier Woods. All right, last pack, pack number seven. Fortunately, I didn't get an Undertaker card. And I got a dupe Shinsuke. And a dupe Parallel Mace. I always hate getting dupes in a blaster, blaster box. Here's Johnny Gargano, no longer in NXT anymore. I guess this must be like, I don't open up regular sports cards like basketball, baseball, etc., football. I guess that that must be what it's like when you open up old packs from various years. I mean, this isn't that old. It's These are in stores now, so, um, you know, seeing characters or characters, seeing players that aren't on the teams anymore. And Jay Uso. Uh, not a fan of the Usos. Not a fan of them dominating. And also, I'm not really a fan of them personally. So, all right. Thanks a lot for uh, checking these cards out. I like these cards. Um, these are probably one of the better sets of WWE Tops cards I've opened. Now, granted, they're more expensive. The qualities are way. The quality is way better. Um, I would give these probably like an A minus. Uh, I'm not happy that these don't have one hit. Um, I definitely wish I could increase my Matt Relic collection, but uh, I'm gonna have another one of these openings. This was box one of two, so I will see you on the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to let you know when the next one's out. Thanks everybody.